Louisiana Beer Review's Founders Bottle Shop Series number one, Nemesis. This is 11.2% alcohol, 75 international bitterness units, barley wine style ale with roasted malts and no shortage of hops. Bottled three months ago, sold April, it's bottled in March, but they say it's going to be sold April to August. 2021 and then there is a new one coming out in August probably come out earlier than that called um, Well, it's low IBU and it's a uh, 11% and it's supposed to mimic like a Cocktails, I guess they're trying to compete against the um, New Belgium uh, Cocktail mimics and they there was one from Abita very dark brown with the light from outside you can get a little clear reddish brown the head is beige and thin on this wide brim glass so make a little adjustment here Now, <clears throat> outstanding on Beer Advocate, 90 out of 100, 98 out of 100, 93 out of 100 in the style on Rape Beer, and a 77 out of 100 on Untapped, and that's, that's high for Untapped. The nose, rich barley malt, almost like a cream, like cream and coffee. Rich dark roasted barley malt. Now the taste. I did a duo review of this with my friend David. He brought a bottle over in April 2021 and I loved it. Now I talked to him about it recently and he was saying, uh, all right, that's just not really good. It's like flavored barley wine. I said, what? I didn't get into it too deep with him, but I was surprised because he had really liked it, I thought. But he drank the other three, maybe he turned against it. He is kind of particular and sensitive about these flavors, and sometimes he'll like a product, and then he'll turn against it for some reason. Sorry, I was looking at something in the viewfinder. Air conditioner, oh well. High, medium body, nearly heavy. Slightly viscous mouthfeel. I forgot to say this on the last video. I forget half the time. The Cyclops scale is probably four out of five sugar cubes. It's a pretty sweet beer. Bitterness, five out of five hop cones. This is very bitter, 75 IBUs. If you don't like bitter beer, you're going to probably hate it. I was reviewing the Leo, Leo Leopard, Le Leo from Thailand. It was pretty sweet, like about three out of five sugar cubes and two out of five bitterness units. Really nice product, Thailand. But anyway, back to this. <clears throat> I'd be curious. I got it for eleven ninety nine a four pack. The four pack eleven ninety nine at Dorig Max on Veterans Boulevard in Metairie, Louisiana. Metairie, Louisiana. I think that means like the little farm, the little farmland, my metairie. And no farms now. All right. Uh, when they come out with the new one, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm pretty sure. I don't see why I wouldn't. I think that's a good deal. Um, three dollars a bottle. Three times four is twelve. Yeah. All flavors, off aromas, <laughs> none. A little chocolateyness. Maybe, and I wouldn't do this, but maybe you could argue that it's not a true barley wine because it's too dark roasted. And barley wines usually be a lot more bitter and less, they're just different than this. I don't even know how to describe it. Barley wines almost have like a wine, like a sherry wine thing going on with them. Get that with Old Stock Ale from North Coast, Anchor, 
old foghorn, barley wine style ale in Sierra Nevada, Bigfoot barley wine. It does have that sherry component, maybe like cream sherry. This one does not. It has almost some stout feature. Sounds crazy, huh? It's darker than the barley wine stuff I'm talking about, but it's certainly not as dark as a stout. This almost has some kind of, I was going to say prunes, but almost like candy prunes or uh, candy prunes or dates. Strange. It's a strange beer. For styling, it's a great beer for flavor, regardless of the style. So could I argue that they're off on the style? Maybe. On flavor, they are on point. Outstanding, no doubt about it. 90, that's high, high, high for Beer Advocate. 98 for rape beer, I'm going to go along with 98. And I usually find that rape beer gives outrageously low scores, but they got it right here. 98 out of 100, an outstanding beer. It finishes on the sweet side, a little sweeter than dry. You might find it too sweet. So let me know if you can get it for um, $11.99 a four pack. So Les et Les Bon Temps Relay, a fabulous product from Founders and there's nothing unusual about that. And we're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Michigan and tour the Founders Brewery.